Okay, I've drawn an intricate drawing on the board. And this represents the crease day. Now, what did we say the crease day is? We said the crease day is that inner membrane. And we had said the whole point of glycolysis and the Krebs cycle was to tear that glucose molecule to smithereens, tear it apart, decarboxylate it completely so that it goes from a six carbon molecule to six one carbon CO2s. And in the process, it's gonna liberate high energy electrons. And those electrons are picked up by molecules called electron carriers. And so what did we say they're gonna do? They go from the matrix over to the crease day. And as part of the crease day, we have these right here, those round things that are in the membrane. Those are the cytochromes. And so what happens? We had said the electron carriers are carrying the electrons to here. So we have NADH brings and it gives an electron to the cytochrome. And as it gives an electron to the cytochrome, it releases a hydrogen ion. And that's just a proton without uh, any electrons. So if you remember, hydrogen, it has an uh, atomic number of one. So it's just hanging out there. So, so we had said the energy in that high energy electron is going to be used to do work. What work? Ah, glad you asked. It's going to pump those hydrogen ions from the matrix side into the intermembrane space. What is that? That's the space between the outer membrane and the crease day. So they're gonna build up, up here. So all of these hydrogen ions end up on this side, over here. So we have a whole bunch of hydrogen ions that get pumped across to the intermembrane side of, of the, the crease step. So we have, I'm just gonna draw them right here, very rapidly, kind of rapidly, anyway. Okay, so what about, we'll, we'll come back to those hydrogen ions. What about our electron? Our electron is now low energy. We've used all of the excess energy in it to pump those hydrogen ions across the membrane. Well, the electron combines with what? With oxygen. That's why you breathe. Plus um, hydrogen ions. And you end up making water. So two hydrogen ions plus one oxygen, H2O. Everyone knows that's water. You make water in this process. So the final electron acceptor, that's an important point. The final electron acceptor in cellular respiration is oxygen. That's its job. Okay, but we said we're gonna make a whole lot of ATP. We haven't mentioned anything about ATP, not in this part. You see this thing here? If you can read it, I don't, I think it's off the screen here. I'm gonna shift it over, okay. You see that ATP synthase? That means it's an ATP making enzyme. How does it make it? All of these hydrogen ions are gonna come flowing back this way. I know it makes for a messy picture, but they're all gonna come streaming through here. And as they come flying through here, they're gonna make ATP. So it's kind of like, a, it's a circular process. They make a whole lot of ATP though. So we have all kinds of ATP. They make 34 ATP through this process. So this is where we said you got two ATP through glycolysis, two ATP through the Krebs cycle, also known as the citric acid cycle, and 34 ATP 
through the electron transport chain. Pretty cool, huh? It's simple. It's so simple. So darn simple. 